location, sitting there just feet away from two busy roads. It's a seasonal pond, boasting more biodiversity than possibly any other location in the entire city of Lysen. And it has somehow survived the rapid growth of the urban world we live in. While it's important to note that wetlands, like this one, save Americans billions of dollars per year because they control flooding, and that they can raise property values for homes surrounding them, the real reason why I focus on this particular wetland is because of a prehistoric looking bird that comes here to nest every year, the Great Blue Heron. The herons come to the same spot in early spring each year. They continue to choose this location because of a great food source and good resources for the nests. This incredible bird needs just the right habitat, and Troy has it. Also at the pond in the surrounding woods are some other absolutely amazing species, like coyotes, raccoons, deer, even a Blanchard's cricket frog, a species of special concern in Michigan. Another anomaly at this pond lasts for just a few days. In the middle of April, hundreds of American toads come out of their burrows to breed. Their calls can be heard from as much as a quarter mile away, and they can lay more than 7,000 eggs each. However, one animal that stands out greatly lurks below the leaves of this area. The redback salamander, a lizard-like amphibian that is quickly losing its wetland habitat, is found here, but nowhere else in the city. Salamanders are great indicators of the health of their home. Basically, they can only live in very pristine environments. The fact that this pond is home to this species alone shows that this is a rare habitat, and it needs to be saved if the huge amount of biodiversity is to be kept in Troy. So what can you do to help protect this habitat? You can write to city representatives to share your concerns, or even attend a city council meeting like the Smith Middle School Ecology Club did. But the most prominent thing you can do is to spread the word. Tell your friends and family, and co-workers. There's no time to lose. Contractors are buying up every last piece of Troy, and the heron's habitat looks like it could be next. We need to take action immediately if we are to save this incredible habitat. Mm -hmm.